Hello everybody, welcome to a two-part special. I have an estate car, and estate cars, as you well know, are brilliant, and I really quite like them. And this one is no exception. This is a Zychrom Stratum. It is a brilliant little thing. And this is no ordinary Stratum. This is the highest on the Stratum food chain, the 2.6 liter V6 GT Twin Turbo. This thing also has all-wheel drive on top of it. It's a bloody good car. So, why am I driving it? Well, people who drive SUVs have a very simple complaint and re retort to estate car fans. Well, mine can go off-road. So, in order to prove them wrong, I am taking this Stratum to the Spoochie Beach without touching a single row. Now, if you notice, the Spoochy Beach is west of us. And west of us has water and bridges and concrete. So I can't go that way. I have to go all the way around the map in order to get there. Yay. This is going to be a long drive. So we're going to test how good this car can be. All right. We do sort of have to start this on tarmac, I don't have much of a choice, given the fact that the starting point was a parking lot. But, we just go over here, enjoy this nice smooth tarmac, this nice crisp drive, and immediately say goodbye to it. Because, right here, yes, there's the end of it. I have a nice little path down here. It's a bit steep, a bit bumpy, quite bumpy. But it's doing good, it has good suspension. It is the GT version, but it is still relatively comfortable. It is a family car after all. Gotta be comfortable somehow. And it doesn't matter, we're on this nice smooth beach. So we're just gonna cruise our way across. We're gonna be there by nightfall. Oh, um, about that nightfall prediction. We might have to change those plans. Ah. Right, um, back to the drawing board, I guess. So I went back up the mountain, back down the beach, and onto a rather familiar looking trail. There we go. We are entering the mountains now. This looks strange. That, that, that seems familiar anyway. Look at that. That is fantastic. Exciting. It doesn't actually look too bad. Oh, maybe not. This looks see this I guess looks can be deceiving because it looked relatively smooth and now it's not. Now it's definitely not. Don't go over there. Those are the rocks that we have to avoid. So we go this way. Uh, that's a funky angle. That's a very funky angle. Holy crap. Uh, that's just a cliff. At least there's a semi-decent path here that's not in a 50-degree slope. Lovely stuff. Oh, okay, we're down. No, nope, no, nope, we're going back up. Nope. I really hope these hills don't become a common problem because automatic transmission bogging down. Come on, rev it, rev it, get some gear, get some gear, yes! All right, automatic transmission is not great for rock crawling, but, um, oh, well, we can manage. The stratum climbed higher and higher into the mountains before finally reaching a plateau. Oh, yes, this is lovely stuff. Oh. It was lovely stuff. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. My plateau is about five feet. That's not a plateau. It looked like one. 
damn it. And now I'm stuck. I'm getting beached. Ride height. Come on. Oh god. Just wiggle the wheels, wiggle the wheels, wiggle it, wiggle it, get some traction. Yes! Ha ha ha! We are now finally on the spine of the mountain. You've got to be kidding me. How am I 6,000 miles away from a freeway, and yet I'm in a traffic jam? <laughs> apparently the wildlife had the exact same idea to use the spy on the mountain. This is apparently I-96 of the mountains. I can't, I can't go around. <laughs> there, there we go. Now it's big enough. <laughs> But just like every mountain, you have to eventually go down. Oh my god! That's a steep drop. It looks smooth, but as we've seen before, that looks can be deceiving. Uh, uh, well, um... I guess bugger it, we don't have much of an option. That way is a road. So... Just... Try and stop your brakes from melting as you ride them down the hill. Uh, uh, speed! Oh, okay. That wasn't too bad, I guess. Brakes seem fine, there's no steam. Okay. Look at that, it's a nice, lovely little beach. Uh, mostly lovely little beach. And in fact, it would be a beach that continued for a very long time. Progress was good then. And the strata was proving well in the water and even the bumps. Yes, I know this is a beach, but there are quite big dips where the water comes into the land a little bit. That's a problem. Keep carrying the speed, carrying the speed, carrying the speed. Look at that, it just scampered up that hill. That's lovely. One would have thought you needed a Sand King for that, but this thing is just, oh, ow, ow. Scampering along, just fine. Mm. And in fact, uh, a Sand King couldn't even do this section because it's way too low to the ground, but this thing, not being on massively lifted suspension is doing well. If not breaking my spine, but it's making progress. Jesus. <laughs> Ugh, how is it doing that? The, uh, the airtime was not a good idea, but this is absurd. I mean, automatic transmission and airtime on a mountain is not a good combination, but. Just rev it up, rev it up, keep the revs, there we go, all-wheel drive, do your thing, yes! As day turned to night, I began looking for a place to camp, and... Well, you can't get much better than this. That's not a bad view. We're on a nice flat ground, we have all fantastic scenery, it's getting dark and I want to go off-roading in the night. Not a bad place to spend an evening. And to think, we are less than halfway to go.